Hello all. Welcome back. Today I would like to show you how you can install Xmonad Window Manager in OpenSUSE. So for that you have to do sudo sepa in xmonad ghc dash xmonad ghc dash xmonad dash contrib if you want to use xmoba you have to install that also I will install XMOBA on this video, but I will do a separate video for uh, XMOBA enabling and using XMOBA because if I do both of them at the same time, it's going to be a really long video. And nitrogen for our wallpaper, PyCom for our compositor. Then we can install the menu and have a super user password. After we do that, it's going to download and install all these packages so as you can see how already downloaded all these packages next step we are going to open up a firefox or your preferred browser and you can search xmonad and do xmonad.hs you can search that in your favorite web browser so it's going to give you this one wiki.haskell.org xmonad config archive so you can open that so this is the official uh, like documentation for the configuration archive so here you are having a racks template so we are going to use this template for configuring our xmonad you can see this link download the latest racks template for xmonad.hs so if you click that it's going to give you a prompt so you can save this file once it's finished downloading we can close our Firefox and we are going to download you can use uh, Vim to open Vim or your favorite text editor to open up the Haskell file which you have downloaded right now so this is going to be the default configuration script so in Xmonad if you need to use some function you need to have imports so these are imports so if you use an import in Haskell these imports are going to get some particular libraries which allows you to use some particular commands for your system so by default you will be having terminal um, your ter my terminal will be set to x term here you will be having in this area you will be having x term so you go back it will be it will be written like this so your default terminal will be xterm so xmonad always requires you to have uh, xterm so by default it's going to select xterm as your default terminal so if you don't have that you are going to end up in trouble because when you log in to xmonad for the first time it's going to open up with no wallpaper and if it cannot recognize your default terminal and if it didn't find xterm it cannot open like a terminal for you to do anything so you have to specify your terminal over here I'm going to use terminator because that's my preferred terminal you can use whichever you want and here you will have your border width so I have specified my border width to zero because I don't like borders here you will be having mod mask to mod one mask so the default key binding the default mod key for the xmonad window manager is alt or the mod 1 mask you can change that to mod 4 mask if you want if you prefer using windows key as your mod key then here you have your workspaces by default you are having nine workspaces and this is your border color and focus border color so by default it's going to be red and light gray so your focus border will be red and the other one will be light gray here are your key bindings so to open up your terminal you can use mod key shift and enter to launch um, like a launcher like d menu it's going to use mod key plus p so if you want to customize that you can change it over here to close a window like for example if i open up a new terminal over here and if i want to close this one 
I can use mod shift and C likewise so if I have like multiple terminals open I can switch layout by hitting mod and space so it's going to give me that let me close all these things out first then if you go down a little you can see mod plus Q will restart X monad if you hit mod shift and Q it's going to exit or log you out of xmonad this is your layout for your winter manager so if you have like multiple windows open like this you have mod if you use mod and space you can see multiple layouts so the first one is styled you get the idea so you have a full screen all these things so mod shift c to close that one these things hooks are like uh, window rules so these things in my manage hooks are like window rules so if you need some particular applications to be running in floating mode like if you are experiencing some issues with some windows being opened up like weirdly or in some different way you can make them in floating mode so they will always float they will not be tiled so you can specify like this class name and you can follow this syntax and you have to specify the application name over here if you want to launch d menu you can use mod and p it's going to launch your d menu here you can specify your startup hooks but i like to i don't like to tinker with uh, xmonad much because i'm not that much proficient in haskell these are your default key pointings if you want you can look through all these things we are going to exit out of that by hitting mod shift c now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to open up a terminal let me increase the font size a little bit so that will be comfortable for you to see next thing is we are going to copy the xmonad.hs from the downloads cd to downloads and we are going to copy your edited configuration or your modified configuration so xmonad.hs this file to your home folder slash xmonad so this directory will be created this dot xmonad directory will be created when you install xmonad slash dot xmonad dot hs so you have copied your configuration file so now you can open up your window manager so with your present configurations before that i would like to do some things like i, I would like to set a wallpaper so we are going to open nitrogen with d menu so i'm going to use this as my wallpaper so if you want to add wallpapers to displays you can use the preferences you can use add and click the preferred directory and click select and hit ok so it's going to scan everything and if you hit apply it's going to apply the wallpaper what should see to close after you install nitrogen like after you set up your wallpaper the next thing you have to do is you have to copy slash hc slash x11 slash x in it i'm sorry x in it rc to your home folder slash dot x in it rc if you do that it's going to copy make a copy of your dot x in it rc so i already copied that now i'm going to navigate to my home directory by hitting cd and i'm going to open up dot x in it rc yeah if you go down a little by default it's going to give you this if you go down a little you can see add your lines over here so if you want to make your custom configuration since your dot x in it rc file you can do that over here so 
this part nitrogen dioxide tree store is going to give me my wallpaper spawn all always when i start a exponent or else you won't have a wallpaper each and every time when you log in so i will make a comment out of that wallpaper and do that i do a hash it's going to give me like space for comment and this is your compositor so your compositor is going to give you like uh, transparency and all those things so if you need like if you need to see your background transparent or something you need to have a compositor so it's a good idea to install a compositor always so mine is pycom so if you do you can type pycom dash f and ampersand for nitrogen for your wallpaper you can type nitrogen dash dash restore and ampersand so this what this uh, what this does is uh, it will spawn nitrogen and it will tell nitrogen to restore the wallpaper which we have set and it will go to background ampersand it will send the command to background the same thing is happening for pycom so your compositor will run so this is going to give me like a fade effect and it's going to run in the background so each and every time you open up your expand add so if you do this configuration it's going to work on pretty much uh, like any window manager not just xmonad so if you edit, like there are other ways to set wallpaper in xmonad like uh, if you want you can configure it side the xmonad.hs file but i would like to do this because i would like to have like uniformity among all my window managers so i am a guy like who likes to use multiple window managers so i'm going to save and exit by hitting w and q in vim now if we do a mod shift and q we are going to exit out so right now we have like pretty much done all the configuration so here you can select your window manager so our is x monad we have selected that and our password and this is like the default x monad uh, after our configurations so since we set the wallpaper before we are seeing the wallpaper right now or else it will be a black screen the mod key so if you set mod for mask your mod key will be win will be windows key if you are not like if you have not done any changes your mod key will be alt so you can use alt shift and enter if you haven't done any changes so if you have changed to mod 4 you can use windows key shift and enter it's going to open up a terminal for you and if you want to open up multiple terminals you can use mod shift enter again and again so it's going to give you like multiple terminals so if you want to switch layout you can use your windows key or the mod key and space so it's, it's uh, by default it will give you like uh, three configurations for this full screen tiling so like this so if you want to exit out of that you can pick one like if you want to move from one to another you can use mod jk so if you want to move from one workspace to another you can use mod jkl so it's going to change which window is open if you want to close this one you can use mod shift and c it's going to close whichever is highlighted and you can use d menu with mod and p so this one is our d menu you can search firefox it's going to give you firefox and you can use mod shift and enter to open up a terminal so if you want to navigate among these two you can use h so if you want to navigate among these things you can use your mouse either use your mouse or you can use mod less hkl navigation keys you can do that if you want to like if you have done any configuration changes like i did some configuration changes like if i change my terminal to for say like uh, urxvt and if i save that and if i want those changes to like if i hit mod shift and enter right now it's going to open up another terminator 
so if I want to change that let me close this first so if I want to change like if I want the changes to like be in effect I need to restart X monads you can do that by hitting mod key and Q so if you have done any changes to your configuration file this one you can save the file and in order for you to like take changes to the new configuration you have to restart X monad for that you can use mod and Q in order for you to like if I open up another window like Firefox for example if I need to move Firefox from this workspace to another workspace I can use mod shift and the number of workspace so we are going to move this to workspace number two so mod shift and two so now it's in workspace number two so for you to view workspace number two you can use mod and the number of workspace so mod and two in this case so you have this one open over here mod shift c to close mod one to go back to our first workspace so that's it for today in the next one i will show you how you can set up xmoba i hope you all have a wonderful day